So we dedicated to the industry, mm -hmm. um, and our, our mission is to be able to deliver a product, a genetic product, that meets uh, three important aspects for, for us. Uh, first and foremost, we feel a great responsibility of being part of the food chain and helping being part of feeding the world. Mm -hmm. We got seven billion people on this earth. We're headed to nine billion people, and this is going to take the collective work of the ag industry, the livestock industry, Absolutely. to make sure that we have a quality food supply mm -hmm. for all human beings on this earth. Of course. The second part of it is that we have to be part of being responsible for a clean environment and that we do our production, our systems in a way that lead to the sustainability of the environment that we live in, not just because it's beneficial to our farms, but also because it's beneficial to our customers in the seeds. And the third part of it is that we're highly dedicated to making sure that we create improvements that lead to the greatest animal welfare that we can have. We are, our animals are our greatest resource. Mm -hmm. We're responsible for their well-being. So animal welfare is a big issue for us as well. Definitely, and we see that when we go out in the barns here at World Dairy Expo. I mean, the animals are treated so impeccably well, and you know, it, it's amazing, really. Well, they're in reality part of our family. Yes, if, I mean, right, exactly, very much so. You mentioned sustainability as point number two. What is ST Genetics doing from a sustainability platform? So I think the industry over the last 50 years has made, made a tremendous amount of progress in driving genetic progress. Mm -hmm. So productivity on the cow aspect has increased significantly, whether it's in the milk amounts produced, the percentage of fat, the percentage mm -hmm. of protein, the health traits or the fertility traits. I think we head into a new area where we have to be conscious of elements like feed conversion. Right. and being able to produce more with less feed mm -hmm. so that we don't have an environmental impact on one side and on the other side so we can produce food for lower cost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so it's being able to produce a long-term animal protein in a sustainable manner. And sustainable is a word that involves several aspects. Part A would be sustainable for the farmer, that is mm -hmm. an economically viable production system for them. Yeah that generates a profit and a margin so mm -hmm. the family can have a good well-being. Part B of the whole thing is sustainable, that we protect our environment, that we protect our soils, that we protect you know, the CO2 emissions, the methane emissions, and all those aspects. And the third part of it is the sustainable from the standpoint of the well-being of the animals, that we take care of them properly. Because if we take care of properly of those animals, mm -hmm. they're going to be more productive and everybody benefits from them. Of course, absolutely. What are some of those management practices that you know your team, your ST Genetics team, is really encouraging that compounds well with the products that ST is offering to the dairy producer? So obviously we got the genetics aspect of it, the genetic selection and genetic improvement, but I think we're also heading into an era with a lot of new technologies Mm -hmm. are, coming, uh, are becoming available that we're going to be able to use to monitor, measure, and improve some of those productivity aspects. <laughs> For example, we're going to be releasing to the market a, a temperature bolus here in the next month that sits in the room of the, of the calf mm -hmm. or, or the female, measures temperature 95 times a day, and it's able to send you a temperature measurement on that animal to your phone mm -hmm. so that you have an early detection of whether the animal is, is getting sick. Sure. You know, it's like when you get the common cold right? and suddenly you feel like, oh, I'm kind of getting, feel kind of something is yeah, coming. Yeah, something's right? coming, yep. Well, if you get treated early on, mm -hmm. you're going to recuperate a lot faster. So this is a technological advance that allows farmers to reach out to their animals, treat them at a very early stage, take care of the animal welfare issues with Absolutely. the Absolutely. Get them on good health. And at the same time, the animals are going to become more productive. Light like that technology, there are many other technologies. Mm -hmm. Genomic testing is another one. Um, that when you, you add them all together into one, is what create, lead us to that big word that's called sustainability. Sure, absolutely. So we're here at World Dairy Expo. Can you talk a little bit about how your experience at the show has been, how it's been for your team? You know, just what have been some of the talking points that you've been hearing from dairy farmers that have been stopping at the, at the booth? So... Expo is always a great place to come. It's a, it's a wonderful time. Um, We're glad you come. Thank you, by the way. We, 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 thank you. We have a, it's a tremendous uh, week for us. 
to have the opportunity to to be with friends that we haven't seen for the last year sometimes. Right, right. Uh, you know, the, we get to see each other from all over the world, you know, you run into fellows from Italy or from Japan or from China, or from Brazil or Argentina, from Canada, from the US, from different countries, from different states in mm -hmm. the US. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always good to reacquaint with everybody and, and Expo is effectively a, a central place for that to happen. And when you do that, you also have the opportunity to talk about, hey, what's happening in, in Europe with milk mm -hmm. prices? What, mm -hmm. what's, what's important in your production systems? The same thing when you're talking with the fellows from Argentina or from Brazil. What, uh, same thing when you're talking to the guys from Japan or Australia or New Zealand or another country. You're able to compare. Right. You take notes. Yeah, what's compare, working, what's not. Say, yeah. You know, sometimes you go, hmm, that's interesting. I hadn't thought about <laughs> right, that. Right, right. What, why does that matter? Right? Yeah. Maybe it's going to matter to us here in the U.S. a few years down the road. Sure, so, of course. So it's, it's a tremendous opportunity for that. Wonderful. And if you have any other parting words to share with our Facebook and social media viewers? Well, num number one, that first and foremost, we're, we're very, very thankful to, to everybody for their support, for their help. <laughs> Without our, our friends and clients, we, we wouldn't be able mm -hmm. to be here. It's what gives us the energy to continue, right. to try to improve and get better every day. And so that's, that's the main thing that I would like to say, a big thank you. And to, if, if it's not possible at all, at all, that our home is your home, so please come see us. There we go. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I'm here thank with you. Mr. Juan Morano, the CEO for ST Genetics.